This ad you're seeing is an ad from the Kit Kat Chocolate Company. If you think about it, extreme creativity is used here, and it's very different from other types of advertising. As you can see from the picture, the advertisement uses an ordinary bench. As a result, the advertisement doesn't just display the product to customers, but it has the power to direct their attention to the product for a while. In the advertising world, these types of ads are called guerrilla ads. Let's look first at the meaning of the word guerrilla and what it's used for. When we look at the word guerrilla and for what purpose it was first used, we can begin to see how this word relates to marketing. The word guerrilla was first used in military combat during a war. This strategy, called guerrilla attacks or guerrilla warfare, is a tactic of attacking the enemy with different groups when the other party doesn't expect it. Therefore, it's often called guerrilla tactics by some. Later, this name began to be used in marketing. More precisely, the book Guerrilla Marketing by American business writer J. Conrad Levinson was published for the first time in 1984. This book talked about ways for small and new businesses to get more customers for less. Also, the new book emphasized that the most important thing for this is creativity. Now let's look at the benefits of guerrilla marketing. First of all, we should mention that by using this strategy, you'll save your budget. Because in guerrilla marketing, you don't need to create expensive ads to promote your product. The important thing is to be able to attract the attention of customers and present the product to buyers in a surprising way. Another benefit of advertising created with a guerrilla marketing strategy is that it spreads quickly. The main reason for this is that they're not advertising videos that you often come across on social media, as in other advertisements. Because ads created with guerrilla strategy look different and attractive to people. Customers willingly share those ads with others. As a result, these types of creative and unique ads spread faster and attract more attention than others. Now let's look at some examples to better understand the guerrilla marketing strategy. For example, when you first look at the picture you see on the screen, a person thinks that it's real. A dog is lying on the ground and fleas are all over him. But if you look carefully, you see that this is a very creatively designed advertisement. This ad is for Frontline, a bug spray company. As you can see, without spending a lot of money and writing a lot of ad copy, the Frontline company managed to attract the attention of customers in an effective way. The ad you see in this picture, made with the guerrilla marketing strategy, belongs to the world-famous McDonald's fast food company. As you can see, using just a crosswalk and some extra paint, the company created its own advertisement. So if you happen to pass this crosswalk, you'll probably notice this ad sooner or later. This is one of the magical features of guerrilla marketing strategy. However, I'd like to point out that the guerrilla strategy is not always used to introduce a new product to customers. For example, this ad that you see in the picture was created to show how the smoke and smog emitted by cars harms the environment. So through this advertisement, people are aware of how vehicles expel smoke and fog and leave harmful trails behind them. This picture you see is included in the list of guerrilla strategy advertisements created for the purpose of education. The main purpose of this ad is to show that when people smoke, they not only harm themselves but also other people. Thus, sometimes guerrilla tactics are used to raise awareness in society about human rights, nature, animal protection, and other issues. But unlike normal advertisements created for product introduction, Guerrilla strategy used for awareness is mainly implemented in the form of flash mobs and is usually quite effective. In this video, we mainly talked about the guerrilla marketing strategy, its benefits, and for what purpose it's used. At the same time, we can say that this strategy can be used not only for business, but also for educational purposes. I'd like to ask you if you've seen any company's guerrilla advertisements and what they were. Thanks for watching.